everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Vanta is doing something that Hex did as well. It looks like they are finally getting to the point where they their chats have gone too far and their chats have done things that they themselves cannot back up and they do not want to be backed into a corner like that but they've had to do it video link is below in the threads what are your thoughts on this uh you mean it's talk he's actually put in a tldr for people who don't want to give any sanji any views some people in the chat are overstepping and not respecting stream rules taking some jokes too far and gets too comfortable in general they're not the only ones who do that a lot of people in hololive have had that issue before as well it's something that VTubers in general, when you get big, you have to face and you have to actually put out that that is not cool. So he's reminding them he's not their friend, asking them to behave better, that he will shift his attitude so as he will not foster such behavior further and say going forward, anyone who disbehaves or misbehaves will be timed out and possibly banned. He's saying, if it's something you wouldn't say out loud on a megaphone in front of a group of friends, then don't say it in my chat. That's a general rule treat people the way you want to be treated that's the golden rule in my chat and in my life and in the way that i say things he's saying he's sick of seeing people who says they love him or his streams but find his chat insufferable effectively causing an infighting within his chat to be honest he hates people who start fights while wearing his oshi mark and asks if they had to fight with someone online either do it privately suck it up or take his oshi mark off because he doesn't want such people to represent him i respect him for that kind of nothing new but indeed, it is something every VTuber should address at one point or another. I try to address it as much as I can myself in my streams. People who have been to my streams, who have been to my videos, understand that as well. That, you know, I'm friendly to everybody. But do not fight amongst each other. Do not have arguments here. You can have arguments in DMs or whatever if you want. That's your own prerogative. But don't have it in my chat. And don't have it in VTubers chat in general. It's a huge disrespect to the VTuber. It brings the uh, vibe down a lot in the chat so it's generally not a good thing to do and update on the rose of me situation that i went over in my last episode and one of my last videos uh the ones before this one at least rose of me said this for mcdonald's one it was just fun it was just having fun it was just a good fun tweet nothing wrong not saying i support this group or that group politically or in the middle east or any of that kind of stuff she just wanted to to use a new vtuber asset out there wanted to have fun with it for everyone else out there and i don't get why people do this why people get aggressive and you know the slacktivist came out and we're like oh it's a mcdonald's thing you're supporting the you know g stuff that's happening over there in the middle east she says here sorry i wanted to make a cute edit but i thoughtlessly used an asset on a sensitive situation i was unaware and i apologize and we'll delete this tweet rose me keep the tweet there was no harm intended absolutely that's the way i believe it's all good. Keep the post up. Let them spot whatever they want. Do not delete this tweet. Those people will keep attacking you. Even if you delete, you are getting one guide. Don't let them win. You didn't even have to respond to this. The purpose was to just help you make, make you aware. Uh, nobody questioned your intentions or your character. But still, don't put politics into VTubing. I always say this. I'm one of the few who say this. I always get attacked for saying this. Politics has no place in VTubing. Politics has no place in entertainment. Keep your personal politics to yourself. Honestly, that's what I think. Yes, if it ends up being something that, you know, like I've mentioned before with the uh, recent situation in the US, you can talk about it a bit, but in general, just keep politics out of VTubing. You can have it if a question comes up, you can answer it, but don't inject your politics thoughtlessly into things like this. Don't inject it if the question doesn't come up, pretty much. Uh, you clearly had no ill intent in making the edit. There's really nothing you apologize for. We would like you, we want you to keep doing what you do. Keep being happy, of course. And people here, all the people telling Rosami not to delete the tweet. If you check their profiles, you'll see they're not Niji fans and actually far-right lunatics. And like the tourists, no, I'm not a far-right lunatic. I'm not a tourist. I'm deeply ingrained in the VTuber sphere. I'm deeply ingrained. I don't have a lot of friends, but I really love VTubing and I've been in it for over three years now. Worth noting that she got one comment politely informing her about the boycott. Nobody attacked or harassed her. I, that can be considered an attack and harassment, especially when you're putting in politics where it doesn't belong. She was tagged in every hateful, disgusting reply to that comment, and that's what led to this. Now some lowlifes are the same lowlifes are calling her a sellout and a bootlicker. Uh, yeah, we don't need replatform every literal who. That said, the person really showed where their actual allegiance lies in the third tweet in the and support R and Geno bit. 
Uh, yeah, nothing has been changed since Scarlet Starbuck stream, NDFs being NDF. Uh, what the effing 39 IQ take was that? Then, uh, okay, guys, remember to put your Oshi marks in your Twitter name so they can identify us. Yeah, no. It's like, you don't have to be an EG fan to understand logic. Cancellation for that type of stuff is really dumb. Slacktivism like that is really dumb. It's just, I don't know. That's just my personal belief. And I'm sorry for injecting my personal beliefs into these things, but I like being objective. I like being in the middle and putting politics into this thing is not being in the middle. Putting your politics, your identity politics, or your other things in here is not being in the middle. It is trying to pull people to one side or the other. And I try not to do that. Here is a person wondering about Fulger Ovid. There's the Oshi. Uh, they understand the disabilities that, that they go through. Uh, they're really hoping that they aren't a piece of, you know, S and that they aren't an actual horrible person, but thinking, you know, because of the, the friends you keep, you are affected by the company you keep. You are affected uh, either emotionally or in some way by, you know, the way that you think by the company you keep. You tend to keep company of people who have similar ideas to you. I like having people who have different ideas. Uh, I've gotten a lot of hate for that. Uh, I've gotten a lot of hate for being in the middle, but that's the way that I am. Fulger is also close to Doki, wouldn't use Aliver's closeness of any of their colleagues to point one way or the other about how they feel in February's situation. I enjoyed Fulger since he had good chemistry and collabed fairly often with my favorites, like Pomo and Rosami. Exactly. Yes, you are affected by the company you keep, but and until you yourself make those moves, like some people in the VTuber space have already made moves that make them look bad, uh, until you yourself make those moves, I'm not going to judge you by the company you keep. I'm going to, it may sound kind of wishy-washy and playing both sides but here's the thing like i said like i said you can be influenced by the company you keep absolutely and people will judge you not me but other people will judge you by the company you keep if you keep the company of people who are sympathizers to the bad german people back in the day then you are going to be deemed as that person as well so the fact is here Fulger has not shown in his own way of acting as being someone who follows the beliefs or the seeming beliefs of the company that he keeps. So I'm treating him by what he does, not by the people who are around him. I hope that explanation helped. Imagine after Doki, they haven't really reached out to her since uh, termination, if that makes sense. Since Doki said she doesn't know where she stands with anyone. I don't know if she applies to others like Mint, but she said she's glad Mint reached out to her. You know, exactly. Watched him since debut, but I also know he doesn't get understanding people and relationships. So yeah, uh, treat people by the way that they act, not the company that they keep, pretty much. Although, you know, if you want to keep a, uh, a kind of eh mind, then you're free to do that as well. Another short commentary on things that have been happening. It's been a year anniversary for Pomo's Niji EN Oto no Naru Hoe cover. A good old days of happy EN family. Yes, they had they had a lot of things. You know, they're mentioning that all, all the different gens, all the EN people, or at least as much as much as they could put close to them, people that they were friendly with. You know, a lot of things there, and it is having all this happiness with Ike and others in there. And um, unfortunately, it's no longer the fun times that you can see here. Unfortunately, uh, all these people we don't even know if they're friends behind the scenes. They just seem to be friendly in front of it, which is a sad thing to see. And it says, yes, I know many people might say they never were real family. It's all kayfabe. And many, other, many others might even suggest they actually hate each other behind the scenes. Again, we don't know one way or the other. Uh, we'll know for we will never know for sure, though. I still firmly believe that Doki, Mint, Matara, Kuro, Quinn, maybe in Usan love their ex-gen mates. All at the very least, I can firmly say that back then, July 2023, every single member of at least shared a single goal. Make Nidhi Sanji Ian a success. Maybe they won't beat Gura, but that's fine. That was enough for us fans too. Alas, now we have, we, no matter how they try, I can't buy into their friendships anymore. I feel like I, I wish I could, but they're not, not at the black stream. So yeah, some people are having their misgivings. And love the cover, poem when everyone involved put a ton of work into it. Yeah, work was put into it. A lot of actual effort was put into it. Probably not work on the part of Nidhi Sanji and just, you know, maybe the only work they had to actually seem to do was get the rights to the, to the song, get the accompaniment, and get the uh, someone to actually do some uh, artist stuff. But knowing how we know about Doki and Selene, maybe the art, the livers themselves were the ones who did it. We'll never know though. As I have mentioned in other videos, this is never cool. This is never funny, never good to do because it can affect negatively the emotional state, the mental state of a VTuber who is only trying their best to entertain people. Narissa, once again, reminding people to not make bad taste jokes that are hurtful and also not to spam a joke when until it's turbo dead. What is she talking about here? She's talking about her sisters and people can like their sisters, but you know, the way that they treat her and her sisters is kind of weird. So let's go. 
Our Oshi. Look, if Aradia is your Oshi, you can leave right now. <laughs> I actually hate when I see comments that are like, every time Nerissa introduces a new family member, I like them all more than her. I'm like, well, I should just quit then. <laughs> yeah, no, that's seriously, I, I get obviously, that. but I'm like, wow, I can't believe I'm so hated in my own fan base. How hurtful. <laughs> that sucks. That's no fun. But why am I streaming then when they don't even like me? Ugh. I hope they just say it jokingly. I'm pretty sure most of it is jokingly. But I also still wish that, like, I mean, this happens every now and again. Like, obviously, sometimes it's like, haha, that's so funny, you know, because it's, it's yeah. obviously a joke, but sometimes it's like, it's hurtful sometimes anyways. People just take a joke too far and it's still gonna be hurtful unintentionally you know what i mean like they don't they don't mean to because they're like haha it's still funny to them but sometimes it's like okay yeah it was funny the first like four times you said it but now on the thousandth time that i've seen it it's really not funny anymore <laughs> no i mean i agree with that uh, it's jork huh ha, pickle yeah it's joke it's joke but the joke it's i'm like i'm like that smith songs that joke isn't funny anymore <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the way of the internet. And most of the time, I'm not too annoyed by jokes. Like, I still think Demon of Soup is funny. I, I don't care that it's been, like, a year. <laughs> it's still funny. But, you know. Like, most things, I because I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot in the funnest way possible. So most things just bring me joy, even when they really shouldn't, you know? I'm kind of the same way. Even I when it really doesn't least. matter after a point. But, like, yeah, sometimes... I can tell the difference between like playful, intended to be playful teasing, but I don't really like being teased all that much. Even though apparently I'm really, I'm really easy, easy to tease. Apparently. Please don't be too disheartened by those comments. I'm not. It's, it's not that I'm disheartened, but like it just makes me like severely roll my eyes. Oh, okay. Well, at least she's not taking like, it horribly. I'm like, uh huh. You're so original. <laughs> You're so original, commenter. But now, hopefully anyone like that has been filtered out because now you're forced to only have me for the past, like, two and a half months. If you if you preferred one of my family members by now, you would have had to have left because you haven't seen them in so long. True, true, true. <laughs> She's taking it the positive way, which is, which is I mean, it's a good way to do. It's, it's a good way to be. Uh, but I do hate that it even had to go that far for her. And like I said before, some people take things way too far. So stop telling talents to other people more. You like other people more. It's disrespectful, even as a joke. It and should be common sense. Several talents have already brought these specific issues up multiple times in the past. And not only talents here. Like I mentioned, Clara Charmwood recently had to do the same thing. If you don't like them, don't deal with them. Don't be around them. Don't talk to them. Don't freaking be in their streams. You know, pretty much. One part, Nerissa's tired of hurtful jokes. <clears throat> like say Nerissa's sisters are their Oshi instead of Nerissa. People make take these lightheartedly without realizing that they are literally just saying, I don't like you as much as X. And that is a bad thing. So please don't go and do that. I just saw that she celebrated P-Day, my maid fairy heart. Members karaoke, we're going to party like it's my birthday. Be nice or I'll hunt you. Don't spam. Be mindful of language and sensitive topics. The same, same rules that I always like to have on mine. She will always have big PP energy. Now we're all peace on. While she became an angel walking among us as a ghost, so the only one is in P as Pomu. She celebrated Pomu Day. That's what I'm guessing. Not sure about this, but I'm uh, hazard to guess it's Pomu's birthday. Hence Mint in the karaoke singing 50 Cent song. It's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. That type of thing. Mint forever pushing P. She pushes the big PP energy. She pushes the P. It's kind of like a meme at this point, pretty much, but it's good. Um, I'm glad that she's having these wonderful moments with her fans. It's wonderful karaoke's with her fans. I did a karaoke myself the other day and it, everybody loves it. Everybody has fun. As long as you can enjoy yourself, you don't have to be the best singer out there. As long as you can enjoy yourself, enjoy karaoke's just like she did for members. Parrot 4chan, a friend of the channel, is having uh, a birthday stream uh, where, of course, you know, they're going to be celebrating, having a lot of fun, maybe a little bit of a donathon going on, that kind of stuff. Uh, Sayu is going to be a part of it. Rima, of course, because they're friends. And uh, Depressed Nosagi, of course, because they're friends. It's going to be July 14th at 3.30 p.m. So it's going to be today at 3.30 p.m. as of this thing. Uh, it's July 14th as of the recording of this episode. And yeah, she's going to be in it. Uh, let The Left for Dead collabs are still fresh in my mind. Wonder how crazy it will get. Guess she had Kudo will never... She and Kudo will never interact. The very least, I don't see all future graduates willing to talk to someone related to Parrot. Altair dropped by a couple of times in Nosagi's chat before and after his cancellation, and he's doing just fine. I think it has more to do with Kudo's unwillingness to take a strong stance in either direction. Yeah, I'll take a strong stance in some things. Other people don't necessarily do that, but I myself take strong stances on certain aspects. You know, 
I've already mentioned them, and I've mentioned them probably in this video, in the video you're watching. I take strong stances on certain things, and I don't back down because that's my stance. But I hope Parrot has a very successful stream. Already 156 waiting for it. It's going to be a successful stream as always, I think, with Rima, and who just joined Mythic Talent, and Depressed Nosagi, who is recovering from the cancellation that happened like over a year ago. That kind of stuff. Hopefully, everything goes positive. A VTuber, Rurumi, has decided to graduate, is leaving the VTubing sphere. Uh, they have this message out here, which can be a little hard to read. So I'm going to try to make it bigger for you guys if I possibly can. She's saying bye bye. This is her message. She says, how are you? I love hearing about you. I've always looked forward to asking about your days. I will miss hearing from you. I will miss playing games, watching movies, rambling on for hours and hours with you. But even though we're miles away, I feel like you're still with me. Rurumi Yubimi is an odd girl. She tries her hardest, but things don't always go right. There are lots of things she doesn't know or understand, just like myself. There are lots of things she wishes she was better at, just like myself. Despite everything, she does her absolute best for you. She wants to see you smile, cheer up, and hope you are surrounded by love and happiness. This is an, To have this just mentioned there, to have a VTuber that's like that is amazing. I do wish them the best. Throughout our time together, you have taught Rumi many things. She will grow so much as a person thanks to you. She grew so much as a person thanks to you. These memories will be held so dear and near to me. These memories will be revisited with a smile. They will continue to shape the future she experiences. These memories will stay with her forever and ever. Thank you for loving Rumi. Rumi loves you very much. So deeply and true, she can never explain it in words. It's going to be so hard to let it all go, to let go of you. And maybe I never could. Deep inside my heart, I will always think of you. And that is a good message to the Otaku-kun, the people who are supporting her. This is from her actual Twitter. And people are saying, you know, thank you. Take care. Uh, thank you for everything. And uh, there is some supposed uh, drama. There's no proof to it. So treat this as a rat. Treat this as a rumor, if you will. This is all a rumor. Again, this part is a rumor because I have seen no proof of it. I'm marking it as a rumor. I don't know if I said rumor enough, but it's a rumor. Rumi has been even graduated for more than 24 hours and all the copycat designs are already popping up. Girl, let her at least die in peace for a week before y'all rip her design apart like vultures to copy it for yourself. Not just design, blatant as lore, Oshimark name, and S2 like we for real. I don't get these kind of people like where is it fun and trying to be someone else rather than coming up with your own unique design. Dude, they're brutal. It's not just design, lore, Oshimark, even details like same age, same interest. They're trying to skinwalk as her. Again, show proof, please. I will believe you, but if you show proof. When your design is so effing iconic, people wait, are waiting to rip you apart. If they really wanted to copy, they wouldn't wait. They would probably have done it a long time ago. So, you know, I'm not sure if they're actually copying her or not. This is a good design. It is a very, very nice design, pleasing on the eyes and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if they're actually copying her. I, like I said, I will treat that as a rumor, but um, good luck to her. Good luck to Rumi, Rumi, and uh, make sure that, you know, you take rest, you get your rest, you get your, you know, you keep your mental health up in positive numbers and things like that. Heaven Ren is closing, if I remember correctly, and that's why she's saying goodbye. Times like these, I hate the immersion crap because now you need to go into the worldwide search, wondering if the talent is getting a new job, going indie, or retiring from detuming entirely. She's fully focusing on art and has no plans for reincarnation. So that's a good thing to see. She's focusing on her passion. So another VTuber, Rina, is unbanned on Twitch after an almost one month suspension. I can't believe they were, uh, they were suspended for almost a month. I'm so excited. I missed being on Twitch so much over the past three weeks, and it feels so good to finally be back home. It's been a while. Let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel in two hours on Twitch. So they were banned uh, for after three, unbanned after three weeks, three days, and nine hours. What were they banned for? I don't freaking know. It means that she has lost a lot of her Twitch subs. Yeah, freaking brutal. Always see people must understand the impact of Twitch bans. Yeah, Twitch bans affect everything. When you're banned, you lose the subs. When you're banned, as far as I know, you lose everything. So that's not good. I don't think they'll ever told either which ban was. Classic Twitch. Always VTubers on Twitch are getting banned pretty st for petty stuff. Most of the time they get banned because some Twitch mods get a hard on for banning VTubers. Uh, the source is over here, of course, because I always like showing the sauce to you guys. Right here. She's, she's happy she's back. She's, she's dancing. She's happy again. I miss putting this link. Uh, congrats. I'm sorry I was taken to a friend about Dragon Maids and Labyrinths before. I swear it looked like one of the Labyrinth cards. It's okay. I also play Labyrinth. I uh, find it's about time, but you never deserve to be banned in the first place. At least you're now, you, ha you also have YouTube partner. The Empire grows stronger yet. Thanks to you, homie. Uh, I will do my best and dual stream as soon as I can. Welcome back. Glad you made it back. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. 
you v, uh, VTubers have a really hard time on Twitch. It is unfortunate that that happens for, and, and of course, nothing was mentioned. But I wonder if they get banned in the first place, even if timings are usually unfair. There's some sort of reason for a ban. There has to be a reason, but Twitch never mentions it. So it could just very well be, oh, you did ASMR one time, we didn't like it, and there you go. Something you don't see very much of, you VTuber Yenko becomes their own art mama, so they became their own mom. It's kind of a weird, like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird lore now. She's her own mom. She became her own mom. Very own mother, what's more, and illustrated Yenko 2.0. And there you go. There's Yenko 2.0. Uh, source Yenko, literal definition. I created myself. I birthed myself. She had an immaculate conception of herself. It's just all fun games here. Um, beautifully rigged by Celia. Also updated my website and added the model showcase. Yenko, my cute, beautiful bunny. You did so great on your job. Yep. Annie is, is, uh, another person who has had some stuff happen with her, but yes, it's great. Annie, my star and sunshine. Thank you. I'm so happy. Now, please don't eat me. So cute. Bunny, I, I, Bunny Army here, Bunny Ayumu, is, uh, used to be a VTuber. Now they moved into flesh tubing. Yard is so beautiful. My mom is perfect. Uh, just like my children. Big cutie. I'm big now. I love, love, love. The prettiest mom. Basically, all that kind of stuff. A lot of positive uh, news here. Amazing. Every time someone can make their own model. I fully respect the people who make their own model. There are people like Suisse, who not only made her own model, but rigged her own model. People who do that are like, holy crap. I rigged this one the best way I could. But I, I, you know, I had a lot of help. I had a lot of help with uh, the, you know, forums and the fact that Vroid makes it a lot easier to rig your own stuff. Uh, the I'm not the best at um, at uh, the bone structure, so that's why the ears aren't rigged by me, and the tail isn't rigged by me. But uh, uh, everything else is. So it is very hard. I know it firsthand. Live 2D is even worse. Because Light2D has a bunch of layers, a bunch of different bone structure things you have to start working with, uh, sliders and all this other stuff. It gets hard to, to actually rig it yourself. This is a little bit of a meme based on what I had mentioned earlier in the day when it came to the Vantacro thing. Very good that he's doing this, but look at this. It's right here. Vantaso based a message from Nidhi Sanji in the black stream, and he made it fully white. We need to talk. So he is trying to right the wrongs. Or at least it seems like when it comes to the, uh, the meme culture here. Next we have... Uh, the end of an era, 2022, people were happy around Nidhi Sanji. 2024, it's all darkness. It's all black. It's the blackest nights. But yeah, no, it's it's really having some bad times when it comes to this. The uh, original is here on Twitter, right there. That's the original, end of an era. February 7, 2024 is when it came out. So yeah, wanted to give you guys a little bit of memes. Welcome everybody to another VTuber showcase over here on Salve the Blue Squirrel channel. We're taking a look at Barry, PNG Collabs Open debut soon. A bear born from the constellations. She, her, full-time Twitch streamer. The PNG model was created by Creamer, Creamer Jerry. And model is Salem Conite. Rigger is Bubbles0057. Uh, they are, as mentioned, a uh, female streamer. A very cute girl or Barry, whichever one you want to call them. They are a full-time streamer. They do do content on occasion. They uh, run a Twitch, which I will be showcasing in a little bit, just to give you an idea of how everything is. They are a bear born from the constellations. Lauren is still in the works. Barry been streaming for three years. I'm currently using a PNG tuber till my 3D debut. Personal, personally streams, eight, my personality screams ADHD and some loose screws. Same words with me, but overall protective of my cub cubbies, which is the person, the, her fan base. What led me here long journey through self-discovery after a really dark time in my life. Now my goal is to stream and reach others to be their star, their guiding light and darkness. I do so by playing a variety of games like Warframe, Disney Dreamlight Valley, Kingdom Hearts, and other games such as that on Xbox and PlayStation. Overall respectful and welcome all the walks of life to join me on this journey I'm on. So let's make memories together. Twitch is their main on hiatus from TikTok and YouTube until the debut. Their Twitch, like I mentioned, I will put it here. This is their Twitch here. They are, um, this is their Twitch intro. I could do it deep, I could do it anime, or I could do it regularly. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do Ada Ada. What are you doing? Where did you go? What are... <laughs> oh, that what is are weird. Up there? That is just weird. What? What? What are you doing? That's Power World right there. What are you doing? So, yeah. Oh, and she does racing games too. Interesting. <laughs> Excuse you. So yeah, that's a little bit of a showcase of what she can do, of what she has out there. Um, so yeah, it's a showcase of what she can do, what she has out there. Of course, go and take a look at their Twitter, their Twitch, every single uh, part that I'm going to put out there. I'm going to put down everything that they have down there. But uh, let me just give you the stream schedule that they usually have, which is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, 3 a.m. main time, 3 p.m. backup time, EST. 
another they liked the fact that they can be themselves on stream which is what they're showing that's what they liked about feed tubing they do want to do collabs of course if people mesh well there aren't any big projects planned for them they do not have any big uh future plans other than being transparent and fun while opening many doors to much larger roads that await them uh, and they had a 50-50 decision on wanting to become a VTuber. Luckily, they did become one. Even if it takes three years worth of streaming to make the final decision to open that door, nonetheless, it's an amazing experience if you decide to open that door and take that leap. It is very good, and it's very fun. And I'm glad that they joined the VTuber side, and I am glad that they have allowed me to add them into the VTuber showcase. All for right now, of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now, because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.